what's up? I am Mike Couchman. I am the program director for Boost 1019 in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we're a teen and 20-something focused radio station, aka Millennials. Can we talk about Millennials for a minute? Um, to prove to you that I have some credibility, if you look behind me there, I'm filming this on a selfie stick. That makes me millennial-minded and an expert. No, actually, I was just trying to make myself look skinnier. Is it working? How far out do I have to zoom here? It's not working. My arm isn't long enough. Okay, so down to business. Um, a lot of people, and that's my pretty wife, Jennifer, by the way, behind me, and our eight-year-old son, Ephraim. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You want the tour of the whole family? Uh, there is uh, Hezekiah, Ezra, and our dog, Rose Tyler. They're okay. So, um, seriously, I'm sorry. No more distractions. Uh, millennials, that very word can be a distraction. A lot of people in the industry, are, they're freaking out about this giant generation and all of their technology and change and disruption that they're bringing in. Yes, uh, there are things that we in radio and uh, Christian music as a whole, and music as a whole, we, we need to update because of millennials. But a lot of times that stuff tends to be distractions and it takes our focus off what's really important right in front of us. Think about when you were 17 or when you were 25, what mattered most to you then? Talk to a 17 year old today or 25 year old today. Those same, same things that mattered to you when you were their age, matter to people at this age now. Uh, to put it another way, uh, go watch Pretty in Pink if you love that movie from the 80s or Clueless. Pick your favorite 80s or 90s teen movies and look at what was most important in those plots to those characters. Those are the same things today's teens and 20-somethings care about that tomorrow's teens and 20-somethings will care about. And those are what we have to keep right in front of us. The underlying hopes and values, dreams and aspirations from one generation to the next, they don't change very drastically. How they uh, deal with them changes, how they talk about them changes. You know, social media today is an excellent example of how things have changed from 1986 to now. Did you see that? I just uh, sprayed it. Say it, don't spray it. Awkward. Yeah, so um, anyways, all that to say, keep the main thing the main thing and a couple of uh, takeaways. First of all, care about millennials. Uh, they're coming into your target demographic if you're a Christian AC station or you may need to start a new format for them if God's uh, blessed you with that ability. Care about them as contr contributors can't read my backwards writing. Care about them as contributors to your team and as consumers of your product. Like really care, which means that you constantly have to be in contact and communication with them. Um, it's not a set it and forget it thing. And, and radio, we like solutions. We like best practice. We, we do like to set it and forget it. Well, this worked in 2002, so why isn't it working now? And then secondly, this is really important uh, for bringing millennials, millennials onto your team. You gotta let go. Uh, God's gonna force all of us to let go at some point. As young as I feel inside, I know that someday he's gonna call me to eternity. And uh, this thing that I'm part of, I'm gonna pass the baton, whether I want to or not. You're gonna pass the baton. In the Bible, uh, a couple of people that we get to know are Paul and Timothy. Paul is Timothy's mentor. Maybe God's calling you to be a mentor to some Timothys on your team. He's calling you to be a Paul to somebody. Maybe a lot of somebody's. You, uh, think of it like bowling. Did I, did I get the bumper bowling part here? Um, you, you own a bowling alley, you have said to your team, okay, we're bowling in this lane. Maybe you set up some bumpers at first so they know they can't leave that lane. But then as they grow in their ability and you grow in your trust of them, you lift up the bumpers. You trust they're going to stay in the lane that God has called you to and let God take care of the rest. Trust him, which, as I was saying earlier, we're all going to be forced to do at some point anyways. Uh, tip my hat to you. Thank you very much for watching. See you on your favorite hashtag slash forward whatever HTTP social media outlet and cmbonline.org.